In this video, you will learn how to set up your DX7S radio to use with the Chroma. Okay, first thing we want to do is hold the roller down and turn the radio on at the same time. And this will get us into our system setup menu uh, to do you know, any kind of model selection that we need to do. Uh, we're going to go here to model select, press in. I'm just going to select a random model that I have here. Uh, select number 13 or whatever you want. Then we're going to go to just go to model reset to make double sure that it's a clean model. We didn't adjust anything else. Reset, click yes, and now we're reset. In this same setup menu, we want to go to switch select to adjust some things. Uh, what the first thing I like to do on this radio is just clear out each thing before we adjust it. So push down the roller, hit the clear button, push the roller again, and go to the next thing. Uh, if you don't do that, if you're adjusting, let's say, gear to one channel, like let's say aux one and flat had aux one on it as well, it wouldn't allow you to change gear, so you have to clear it out. So anyway, um, the first thing we want to do is adjust uh, the gear to aux one, and then we'll go to flap and adjust that to gear, and then to the knob we want to adjust that to aux two. Once we have that, we can hit the back button or go to list, but I like to do the back button. And now we can go back again out to the main screen or to the normal radio programming. And we're going to go into servo setup right now. Click the roller once, scroll down once, servo setup. And here, um, we're just going to make sure that everything is normal on the reversing menu. So we'll go click on travel and go to reverse. And you'll notice that I can just go through here and scroll through all these and making sure this black bar is on the left. If it were to be on the right, that means that channel is reversed. But for this radio, we don't need any reverse channels. So just scroll through and make sure nothing's reversed. And now we'll go back out of that and go to throttle cut. Here, we're going to make sure this is the, obviously, how to turn the props off when we're done flying. We'll scroll that to trainer. That's going to put it on the bind button on the top of the radio. And we want to make sure that that says position zero. And if I cycle that, you'll notice up here, it, uh, it moves that down below the point where it needs to turn the props off. After we finish that up, we can go into servo setup into the travel, and we can set the aux one channel for the gimbal control. So we'll go down one. We're already in travel, so we want to go down to here and select the aux one channel. And we're going to go to the, uh, the top side can be 140 or needs to be 140. And the bottom side needs to be 120. But to do that, we need to cycle our switch to get it to cycle down. So we'll just cycle that switch that we set up in the switch select menu before. And we're going to change this one to 120. So select that, scroll up to 120, confirm that. We can back all the way out. And now we're ready to fly, guys. That's the complete radio setup for the DX7S. For this and more written setup guides for your Spectrum radios, please visit nochroma.com.